Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we are playing EverQuest Project 1999, and I am on Bragus, my cleric, and I am here with a slew of friends that have stopped instead of continue going because they don't know how to walk and talk at the same time. <laughs> no, no, he disappeared. <laughs> he disappeared on his... We were following the necro, and he's gone. <laughs> he's uh, right there behind you. Yeah. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> well... Behind you means you have to turn around to see. I, I got my uh, oh, there's the centaur right there, and he's uh, he's even. All right, let's kill it. So um, let's go ahead and just introduce everybody. ZK, what's going on, YouTube? ZK here. Hey, what are you playing today? I'm playing Rolling Fist, my level 18 monk, and he's really twinked out. So there's that. <laughs> He is our tank, even though uh, we do have AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. And I'm playing my level 19 Shadow Knight. Absolutely. And um, we also have um, Dark Dragon. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm playing my level 23 Bard. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Psycho. Hello, and I'm on my uh, 17 Shaman. And uh, we also have Chupa, who's silent, but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're going to be killing pretty much anything we can. We are in South Karina. Um, it looks like if we wanted to, we could get some extra bone chips uh, for those who need it. Um because I don't see anyone over there camping uh, the Lord. So, but yeah. Camping the Lord, huh? Yeah, the, is it is... Lord something that drops the piece for the Shield of Life? Oh, okay. I was like, I, just the way you put it, I was like, camping the Lord. I was like, does he uh, <laughs> float in water? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what we got going on in the game? Small Mammoth Tusk on that guy if anybody wants it. To drink with. Okay, I am following Savak. There we go, and we're gonna we're gonna kill centaurs. The one thing I remember about centaurs, and you guys will have to let me know if, if this was right, is they had incredible range with their bows. Yes. Right, yep. like they could hit you from like a mile away. You wouldn't even see them, and yet you would still see like this barrage of arrows coming at you from the distance. Also, they're really, really, really fast. They can outrun a bard if if they need to. No. They yeah. Can. Yeah, I think they can. Yeah, Not very many creatures can, can boast to that, but uh, I think they're one of them. Yeah, they're one of at least two or three that I know of. I've, I've outrun all the centaurs here just the other day. Oh, just, I rooted it instead one. of slowing it. I'm sorry. Oh, you attacking that thing back there? Well, not me. It was EK first. Oh, okay. He yep. started it. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> what, one of the things you need to be aware of, though, guys, is... If you played on the original EverQuest back in the day, these guys did have a faction of their own that you would get, uh, you know, negative hit for killing them. They don't on this server. I don't know why, if they plan to fix that at some point, or if that's just something they, uh, for whatever reason, can't get to um, to work right, or something along the lines, but they have no faction hit yet. So you can kill these guys freely without having to worry about any of that. I wonder what that faction was, or uh, how you would be able to get your rooting good faction. <laughs> I I don't know what their faction was. I know it was pretty much just them though. Yeah. So if you got bad faction with them, they were pretty much the only ones you had to worry about. I think they actually had a town, right? Somebody you could sell to over here. Yeah, they do. So if you have uh, you know negative faction with them, you kind of lose out on that ability to sell. Yeah, yeah. There's the centaur village. They also have a banker and a merchant over there that you can bank with. Yeah, and there's no town. Oh, we got a named nearby, centaur so. behind you. A named one? Uh, oh, yeah. boy. Yeah, he's kind of red. Can we take him? I don't no. know. No, we can't. Let me, go, let me go check. Uh, he's <laughs> like level 43. <laughs> right, right here. This is the the centaur village. Let's go Let's go catch this on video, Paul. Let's go catch this on, on video for a minute, guys. All right, we are following you, man. Beautiful, beautiful area out here. Just the you know fact that it's this nice little forest, but still kind of wide open. You can see around you. Just be careful not to ugly. aggro something next to that we name guy. And you do have some uh, AVOX out here as well, so we can get yeah. some of those. 
Yeah, but yeah, this is the Centaur Village. I don't know exactly which ones are the merchants per se, but I know this is the Centaur Village. Uh, we can check real quick. I mean, it's not like we have uh, bad faction with any of them. Now, do these guys drop anything that you're aware of? I don't like bows. They, I think right. Bows. They they drop. They can drop arrows. plat. They can they can drop arrows, and they, sometimes they can drop gems. Yep. I do like the way they look. I mean, you know, it's it's a unique class that you don't really. I'm not getting anything on any of these guys. I don't think any of these guys are are merchants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that yeah. guy who was that name guy who was walking around. He's the merchant. Right here, right here. This is it. This this is it right here. This oh yeah, merchant. okay, I see. Yeah, this guy's a merchant. Ulan. Show off kind of the stuff. Show off the kind of stuff he has. AC. Uh, you know, just uh, weird stuff like the Ashen Bow Staff, which is, you know, kind of a cool thing because not very many people have one of those, and it's not really that great anyways. But uh, Avok Feathers, Dagger of Dropping, that's not too bad. Weakened on that one. Uh, no Fine still. Larry. Fletching Kit. So if you're going to do some fletching, this would be the place to kind of come over here and do some of that stuff. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, oh, hi. that's what the this Ashen bows for, uh, Bow Staff is for, is uh, creating bows here. This uh -oh. this uh, this centaur over here offers a quest of some kind. I don't know how to do it, but yeah, he offers a quest if we hail him. What's the quest for? I don't know. Let's see Captain what he says. Armor. Actually, uh, yep, armor. What armor? Uh, van braces and gauntlets and helms. I'll do helm. What helm? One of my brethren spoke. Let me scroll back up. One of my brethren spoke to me to the mystic properties of the fire totems carried by the goblin high shaman in Solek's eye. The mighty centaur's body will not fit down those twisty goblin passages, so I have not been able to acquire one of my own. As proof of your powers, or your pro, yeah, your powers, I ask that you bring me a fire totem and one ruby. Oh, a crafted helm. That's for the warriors. Maybe oh, we yeah, need to get a warrior quest. Maybe we need to bring Thum out here and, and do this quest series. Yeah, yeah, definitely check it out for sure. Well, there you go, guys. There's the crafted series quest. That's pretty cool. Something you learn every new. You learn every, new something. You new, learn something new every day, guys. It's pretty Third sweet. Third time's the charm. And now yeah, you know. sorry. <laughs> Take your breath. Man. Hey, Just breathe. knowing is half the battle, guys. <laughs> now, now these guys will aggro each other, so we have to pull yeah, them away. They are very, yeah, very social, social, so you might want to move. Uh, I'll bring them out here. I'll bring them out here to the little fence. Yeah, part, this part is where area. people usually pull to, anyway. I'm surprised they have a little fenced-in area. What do they keep in here, people? I don't know. Because they're not going to be keeping themselves in here. This guy's even oh, to it. me at 18. Yeah, same here. Uh, he's even to me at 19, actually. Yeah, no, he's blue. Tell by the height. To keep it gnomes. And it looks like you guys have escaped. You got some uh, some gnomes loose on on the frontier out here. But yeah, guys, this is this is the Centaur Village. Um, it's a pretty cool little village. Something unique. Oh, you know? bad. Oh, I'll get on it. Now, what would you guys think of maybe somebody, a fan or somebody out there? Converting this game over to use the the new 3D glasses that uh, so many of the different companies are creating. Mm, that'd be nice. I wouldn't like it because I've been watching some videos on it. Uh, you know, programmers talking about how they created a game and then the gaunt or the the glasses started coming out and them actually taking the effort to make it compatible. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Like it it, it is a lot of money and a lot of time that you got to put into it. But as far as like the complication of doing it, it's not that bad. So I could see a fan, somebody who's, you know, up on programming, maybe a group of people, maybe even the people who are doing the server right now, being able to do it themselves. Would you guys be interested in that? Would they would that be something that you would be willing to give a shot and try on like a different server? I'd be all right, willing all to I try gotta say is imagine being a bard, necro wizard or druid and wearing those glasses you would get so dizzy and throw up well that's the whole thing like it, it would need a lot of beta testers it would need a lot of people to sit there and work out the kinks a little bit of the gameplay might have to change so that you can kind of have the same feel with a different style but i think if they had the people the right people the people who knew what the game was appreciate it for what it was and want to reproduce that in a three-dimensional like virtual reality uh, setting 
they could find a nice balance that would make hardcore people still happy with the way it works out, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I really think EverQuest, just because of how enormous the world is in itself, would be awesome with the virtual reality set because it's like you got you were in NORAD in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it really does kind of suck you into the environment, so. Okay, let's see. How can I pull these guys? We're going to get one, two, three. I think I'm going to let ZK pull those because there's, there's too many in there for me to get by myself, yep. especially I since I don't have feign death yet. I need to AFK for a minute. I'll be right back. I'm auto-followed on Frog, and I've got the Clarity song singing. Oh, okay. Then we'll hold off on pulls here for yeah, a minute. So you might want to, if you can, just single or dual pull because I can root something. I mean, I can pull the elephant and stuff. So, I mean, we can kill that while we wait. But, yeah, I think uh, I think it's probably not too far off when that becomes a reality, when somebody takes the, the effort to do I wish I could do it, guys, but I have no knowledge whatsoever in game programming or computer programming or anything along those sorts. That's kind of the reason why I first got onto the server is I was looking at how to create a server and how to create this game on a private one so I could play it. And then I found this one. Somebody had already done all the work for me, which I was very thankful for because I just I don't have the skill to do it on my own. So I'm kind of looking forward to somebody might doing that uh, here in the future. Here we go. Why this elephant is slow. I don't know if they would ever do it for EverQuest 1, though. I mean, you pretty much have to remaster it for for um, especially the HTC glasses. Uh, I don't know if you've been watching people do videos on those. Those things have the ability to make things look like they are literally in front of you. And um, with the fact that we have this auto attack style attack, uh, it would be kind of wasteful, I think. Because how would you use those controllers that you get you, unless you actually uh, used the melee or the blocking or those kind of things? Right. Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's it would be somewhat simple to transfer the game over to that, and then they would have to sit there and tweak it so that you could take full advantage of it and make it feel the way it should feel. That yeah. part would take a while, and that's why you would need those testers to be like, no, this isn't really working the way it should. Maybe if you try this, and then go back and try that. You know, like, they're going to need those those people to actually try out and say, okay, this... Because, like, with this game... It's been out long enough that people know, okay, this this is what works, this uh, is what I'm doesn't back, work. I'm back, sorry. Uh, welcome back, man. But yeah, it's been out long enough that people know what works and what doesn't work. But with a brand new system, you're going to have to learn that all over again. So you're really going to need a lot of help with it. But I'd definitely be willing to put in the time. If they could get this game into VR and give it the feel of VR where you can actually move around and see your arms move and stuff like that. Maybe not to that extent because that's probably pretty extensive you know, programming on that regard. But... Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of interested to see where it goes. I have been seeing a lot of the, the different little demos of people showing off the VR glasses. I even reached out to uh, uh, Oculus and asked them if they were going to send out any uh, game reviewer ones. And they said they were, but they only had about 100 to send out. And those were all taken at the moment. So, yeah. you know, try it back at a later date. Maybe they'd be able to send me one. But it's too expensive. Like $900 is, is a lot of money. I just wow. bought this computer. This is computer was about fifteen hundred to two thousand for all the stuff, the mic and the the computer. That was my big expense for like the next three years. So I have no money to spend nine hundred dollars for for one of those things. And there's like five or six of them that are coming out. Like, yeah. which one do you pick? You know, uh, HTC looks like it's going to be the best. Um, though I have the best seen... doesn't always win. Well, I well, there's not really any winning as far well, there... as it goes. <laughs> There is. I mean, there's there's going to be the, the, the VR glasses uh, war, and uh, one or two or maybe three of them will come out on the top, and the other ones will get either bought out or integrated into the, the other ones, and it's going to be like it is now with the consoles. You know, you're going to have Nintendo and Microsoft with the, the Xbox and, you know, PlayStations and stuff like that, but you don't really have, like, 15 or 20 of them. You know, you don't have room for that in the market. I'm about to, start, I'm about to split, split some of these, so please right. don't get in the way um, I think I think there's going to be some that are going to be staples. Like um, there's one that's coming out for Steam. There's one that's coming out for Sony, which I'm guessing Sony for their uh, PlayStations are going to only allow their version of the equipment. So that would be death for them if they did that. 
I don't. I don't think so. I. I can see the Xbox because the, the Sony thing. one looks uh, pretty decent as well. Yeah, but think about it. I mean, the Xbox alone comes out. It's what six hundred dollars. I think when it first came out, if you bought like the deluxe model, mm-hmm. and then you have to pay an extra nine hundred dollars or more for the the glasses. And that's just for that one system. Like people aren't going to want to do that. They're going to rather buy the computer one that works on everything right. than buy one that just works for a console and only one console. You know, like gamers are not uh, one of these people that you can kind of push over. When Xbox was doing all that stuff where it was uh, yeah, going to watch you with that little, one. yeah. You know, the gamers put their foot down. They'd be like, "Well, you're going to do all that crap. We're not going to buy your system." And they literally did not pre-order the system. And they fired the president over it. They got rid of all that DRM crap that they're going to put on there. They made it where you didn't have to be We're connected ha- to the internet. I'm going to have an ad. I'm going to have an ad. Don't, don't cast anything. So, yeah, I mean, I think gamers will put their foot down and be like $900. We, we don't mind spending it because we're hardcore gamers and we want to see the best of the best. And we've been waiting for VR for how long now? I- but... Not three or four times. I understand that, but you're talking about a platform that uh, versus a PC. PC, you have the choice. Whenever you get a platform, you've chosen that platform, and you've pretty much said that that's um, the equipment that you're, that you're going to use for other companies to cater to their system. Is something that I think um, is not to be expected. Maybe. I, I don't know. I just, for that kind of cash, I want it to work on everything. I want it to work on my phone. I want it to work on my computer. I want it to work on anything and everything that I could possibly can. Because that is a lot of money to, to throw down. Nice sneak, tag, nice sneak tag, man. And I bet you more sure. than anything, those things are not going to be effective for very long. I bet you, as like <laughs> within a year, they're going to triple or double what those things can do and the effectiveness of them and make leaps and bounds once people start buying them. So to pay that much money for something that's only going to last you a year, maybe two, if you're lucky before you have to go out and buy another one. That's, that's a pretty big investment. Oh, yeah, but there are those people out there, man, that literally have the money just to spend. On yeah. Money. And I'm glad they are because the more they buy it, the cheaper it gets for me. Yeah, so. exactly. And I need all the help I can. So anybody <laughs> want to donate to the psycho needs a VR headset fund? <laughs> I'm I'm still hoping to get mine as a developer. <laughs> this, guy's, this, guy's deep, this guy's deep red guys to me, so I'm gonna need to get him slowed immediately. Working on it right now, man. See if any of my stuff will land on this guy. So you're, which one are you kind of leaning towards? Uh, if you could get one uh, for all of you guys out there, but Cipher, since you've uh, been kind of doing a lot of research on it, which one, if you could only get one, would you go with? Uh, HTC. And that's because it just has better graphics, or you've heard some other good things about it as well? Uh, better graphics. It um, has um, games that are being specifically made already Root it for if it. You can. Root it if you can so you don't die, man. Everything's resistant on this guy. There we go. I got Harm Touch on it, so he should be on me now. Yep, I got him. Good job, man. Wow, he's he taking you down stick. fast, though. Yeah, I mean, he hits hard, man. What he's percent is he at? He's at 44. There he goes. Oh, not, oh nice. Nice. Fear, nice fear, man. Nice fear, Chupa. Great yeah, timing, too. Nothing is sticking for me, guys. I'm sorry. Same here. Nothing at all. I, what, I'm out of mana, by the way. What about the rest of you guys? If it wasn't, uh, which VR would you guys go with? See, I really don't know. I've never I researched into it because as of right He's now. About, it's, this guy's about to die. This guy's about to die. I, don't, I really don't know either, to be honest. I'm just, I'm too... I can't nice job, guys. afford it, so I've never even looked at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, nice job, team. That was awesome. I, I've never tried the HTC one. I've tried the Oculus Rift, and that one blew me away. I mean, the games were very basic because it was still in development. It was at one of those, uh, you know, uh, game conventions. But yep. it uh, it definitely put a, a, a large impression on me of what they can do and what they they should be able to do in the future. So... If I had to pick one now because I've never tried the other one, it would be the Oculus. But uh, you know, now that you're telling me it has right. better graphics, I'm kind of open to to checking it out. Well, the thing is, though, is that they are getting to a point where they're all getting to where they're on par. The Sony one, the only reason I'd want to get it is because it looks better. <laughs> it doesn't look like a big clump of metal on your face. Right. Um, where 
HTC has a uh, cool uh, tracking system on the front of it. So it tracks not only um, where you are as far as in the game, but it tracks where you are in the room. You can use the controllers to set up uh, your space. So you can make it small or big depending on what your actual movement space is available. Um, it just is a, it's a really cool design. Hey, about AC, the VR headset. Yeah. Hey, AC, do you have any bone shifts in? I mean, oh, you already got a pet. Never mind. I was going to say. Yeah, I got, I was just waiting until we were set up and we were in the right spot. I got a few. Uh, do you need some? No, no, no. I was just asking. I was asking because, you know, even though the Shadow Knight pet sucks, he, he's still better at DPS than no DPS. Oh, I got, I got plenty, man. Give those to, uh, to Chupa. He's going to use those more than I am. What's the res Does anybody know the respawn time here? I don't, but I'm guessing it's probably the same as everything else in the zone. Pretty quick, uh, about 14, 15 minutes, somewhere around there. And a little bit less, a little bit more. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I think what it's going to come down to is they just need the testers. That's basically what we've all become when you get the new Windows. It's it's always fraught with problems, and you kind of test it out for them and send all those bug reports back. The same thing's going to go with these uh, 3D glasses, these uh, virtual reality ones. You're going to get in there. You're going to try it out. You're going to write on message boards, oh, I hate how this thing keeps slipping off my face when I get sweaty or I get too sweaty and the thing glues itself to my face or whatever the case may be. You, they're going to listen to that stuff. They're going to see what their people's complaints are and you know, try to make everybody uh, happy as much as they possibly can. And so there's going to be a lot of changes in not just the software, not just the hardware, but just the way it fits onto your head, the way it looks, uh, the weight distribution and things of that sort. So, well, I'm pretty sure that once they get to, um, I, so Oculus has been out for what, five years now, five four plus years. And well, not really out, out. I mean, well, you can't, you can't buy no, one yet, but it's been, it's had the, uh, the tech kit out for it and everything else. So, I mean, it's been, um, accessible by, by testers for a long time now. Uh, yeah, but not on the, not on the scale of like going out on the main market. You know? No, no, I, none of them are really concerned to be out on the main market yet. Um, but once they get to a point where they have decided what they're going to go with, probably five years after that, they will probably lose about, I don't know, um, a good chunk of the, the size off of them just because they will enhance the technology. Yeah. I mean, that's why I said we're, we're entering the, we're entering the VR wars and anybody who's ever been through wars on any, any type of, uh, system, whether it's, uh, CD pluses versus CD minuses and, uh, you know, VCRs versus DVD players and all that other stuff, uh, you know, eight tracks versus a uh, cassette, you know that they make leaps and bounds when it finally, uh, you know, settles down towards the end of it. Yeah. And it just becomes a better product for everybody in the end. So, you know, that's that's what we're going to have. You know, five, ten years down the road, we're going to have a very, very refined uh, virtual reality product. But Hey, hey Duth Rocker, let me ask you something. Has your track oh. skill, have you been leveling up your track skill at all? Or are you not been bothering Level thirty-five nah, for track. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. I didn't know if Bart got it earlier. I will get it. Oh, this guy's deep red. He's an archer, so. Ooh, large ringmail sleeves. If anybody needs them. I don't need them. What are they? Get large ringmail. Just loot them for, and give them to the giveaway. By the way, guys, uh, I don't know if I should spoil it or not, but yeah. Ah, uh, you can if you want. I mean, I. What are you talking about? No, I'm not going to. <laughs> hey, I got root the stick. Yay, it's my first spell today. Do you have malaise yet? Um, I go? No, it's a 19. Okay. I know it's not soon enough. I've been staring at the spell for six levels in my backpack. So have you guys seen any games that you're kind of looking forward to that are coming out on VR? Oh, oh by the way, I did check out, I did play The Division on Xbox One. I must oh, yeah. say it is. I must say it is a good game, and it has a fun multiplayer, but it's not bad. Nice. If you guys, or if, if, if you guys like the Tom Clancy series games, yeah. then definitely check it out. That's what I would recommend. Um, I would freaking love to play Fallout 4 on the VR. I was gonna say if you guys need um, a couple guys for a division on Xbox One, 
I got five really good friends of mine that all have Xbox Ones. I don't have one, so I don't run with them. But uh, they they've been playing uh, Division since it was released. Like they had it, they pre-ordered it, so they had it before it was actually released. And I guess it just came out a few days ago or something like that. Yeah, it did. I haven't heard of it. Uh, what type of game is it? Uh, first person? Yeah, it's like it's all like Fallout Four and oh crap! I got a bunch of them this time. I know I'm watching you, man. I'll pull it off of you when Bring I can. Bring them on. I'm Just be careful. We don't want uh, all of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm split tagging them. Get ready. Thankfully, we have a, a necro who can uh, fear these things because none of my spells are landing on these guys. I got it. Yeah, I was. Uh, I've been looking on Steam for new games to play because I've been adding some stuff to my my roster lately, and it's kind of crazy because on Steam it shows you like what your friends have, you know, what the, what games they have and which ones right. they have on their favorites list, and uh, a couple names keep coming back on people who have the games already, and you know, I don't know if he wants me to add them or not, but Cipher, dude, you have like every freaking game under the sun, dude. <laughs> I don't know uh, how many games you got on your Steam account. A long time. I don't know. I have a few hundred. Every single one that I go on there to look at is like, oh, you got that one. You got that one. You got that one. I was like, holy <laughs> crap, dude. How's, how, how's the mana, guys? I can hold pools if 50, needed. 50, 45. Yeah, I, I have a set group of um, games that I really like, and I usually go and, and get them whenever I can. So, do you have uh, Factorio? Uh, no. Just came out on Steam. No. I, no, I have a few things that I, I have on my list. There's actually a game that I'm saving up for that will not be able to get a test version of it. It's called Kingdom what's, Come. What's that? Um, it is a real-to-life... Um, medieval game where the actual fighting style the blocking style is realistic it is how you would actually have blocked if you were in in a fight with somebody else on, with swords which style of uh, sword play like the i know there's a, a lot of different types like the eagle and the, you know oh, you get different lots uh, it it also depends oh, on the weapon that you use or if you're using sword and shield or yes yeah, sword and shield uh, two hand Messer Smith. Uh, it really depends on the weapon that you're using. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. The one that I like that I've been added uh, recently is uh, Torrent. Um, the Land of what is the what is the name? Let me look real quick, guys. It is um, Torment Tides of uh, Numera. I don't know if you guys have heard of that one. Mm -mm. No, I haven't. It's a What's sequel a sequel to the Planescape Torment. Hmm. Oh, it's uh, right. it's an RPG. Yeah, it's a great game. It's, it's an RPG. Uh, a lot of reading, a lot of um, talking to people, and you know, setting quest up. And yeah. that one's going to be coming out later this week. But that one uh, I've been looking forward to for quite some time because I played the original uh, Planescape one, and that one was just a fantastic game. So also, just, but yeah, AC, since you never played Tom Clancy. Or I, I, I played a few Tom Clancy ones. Uh, okay, well, if you have, you should definitely check out the Division. Then, man, it's a great game. I love it. Is that the one they keep showing the commercials for, where it's like three guys going down the street uh, fighting what it looks like, uh, you know, the end of the world happened or something like that, and there's a whole bunch of criminals in the street. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, that one looked like it's it might be pretty cool. What's the the storyline? Do you know? I I I don't know. I'm not really that far into it. I just got it the other day, but. I can find out tomorrow when I go to work. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a great game so far, but if it's if it's anything like the other Tom Clancy's, it has uh, the ability to use tactics with the other people that you have in your party. Um, well, if you're playing solo, I mean. Yeah, like Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. I played that one. Yeah. Yeah, Rainbow Six. Rainbow Six is a fun game for sure. Who hasn't played Rainbow Six? <laughs> There's probably some uh, people out there. <laughs> it's kind of funny how some of the objects in this game have no shadows. Like this pole I'm standing right next to has a no shadow, and yet I do. The trees over here have no shadows. The skeletons That's definitely do. Though. I mean, I... yeah. I mean, I know they've uh, they've been adding stuff into the game to give uh, a more realistic kind of shadow fill to some of the objects. So maybe one day they'll do that as well. I don't know. Did you guys play a lot of first-person shooters? Or are you like into Call of Duty or? I I, I 
I I play Call of Duty. I played Halo. I you know I'm an Xbox guy. So Gears of War. Yeah, I have Gears of War. I have all the Gears of War, and and recently the newest one that came out as well. So. Oh, did they come out with a brand new one? I yeah, think number three was the last one that I played. What Halo Five? Okay. You mean? No, Gears of War Ultimate Edition is what they came oh. out. Oh. Is that a, is that a new one or is that just a compilation of all the other three? It's it's a new one. I have to check that one out because I can't, I can't do none of the Gears of War, man. I for some reason I can absolutely, and I'm not just to my own horn. I'm really good at first person shooters. I cannot though, for the life of me, kill anything or even hit anything in a third person shooter. AFK check. Really? Just, just kidding. Yeah, it's it's a good game, man. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you do, man, uh, the fact that you can cover behind things was kind of unique to it when it first came out for Gears of War One, and the sure, the fact that you can chainsaw somebody in half. Yeah, the chainsaw, the, the chainsaw machine gun, man, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I had a buddy that he tried to show me Gears of War, but he uh, played it online a lot, like against other people, and all he did was just. Basically, oh, got a pop. cover to cover and do that little slide thing with the shotgun. He he's a na- he's yellow to me and he's a name, but let's kill him. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I stopped playing first person shooters when um, the clan that I was in, my aunt, my real life aunt, is one of the co founders of this clan. So me and my brother joined. And me and my brother always did so good that they actually declared us cheaters and hackers. And final vote, my aunt, they kicked us out of the clan. So ever oh. since then, I, I don't play first-person shooters anymore. Yeah, I heard about a story where they, the Xbox guys did that uh, to a kid with autism. They looked at yeah. his score, and he had a perfect score on every game that he had ever played because he has autism and that's just one of the com- you know things that he has to do when he plays a game is play it as much as possible until he gets that final score I think and... I found something somebody might want ooh what is that it's a quiver ooh. weight reduction 33% not bad wow <laughs> Man, that's not... well, wow that's nice for rangers exactly it's pretty sweet even yep. for even even as thirty weight reduction, that's pretty sweet. Thirty three weight reduction. Yep. Yeah, if anybody so, needs it, uh, Thim could probably I, use anybody it. Anybody know a ranger? Well, Thim no, could, it's not only it's it's not only it's not. Those. Yeah, it's not only a ranger. A warrior could use that too to put his arrows in. Yeah, we can give it to Thim. Somebody grab it for Thum. Yeah, I'll hold it for Thum then. Let's put it over here with you know, the rest like of the other stuff. Other than Thum, it's my wife. He's the only other warrior I know. I don't know any rangers. Yeah, we can't forget about the librarian, man. And oh, chances yeah. are we'll get another one of those because that guy seemed to spawn pretty quickly. So. Yep. Yeah. Th- well, just librarian. just to show you, just to show you that there <coughs> are not there there are some high level names over here, but those are merchants and stuff, and merchants don't usually drop anything. But you know, there's there's some high level or some low level names like that guy that drop that kind of stuff over here all the time. So we'll just stay over here for a bit. See what we can see. What kind of items we can get from these names? Yeah, and he wasn't really that high level. I mean, yellow at level uh, nineteen. So, I mean, it's definitely doable. It's not like that red that we eventually we pulled at, at the very beginning that was just really really rough. All right. Yep. Who, who took the uh, quiver? Oh, I got it. All right. I'm gonna start picking up arrows, and then when I have a full stack, I'll give them to you to throw in. Okay. That way, yeah, when I think, you, uh, it, you can be like, hey, look, it's already full. Right. He, he makes his own arrows because his have a longer range on it and do a little bit more damage. But, I mean, I'm sure he'll take the other ones just in case. So. Yep. Yeah. Well, they're, they're just as good because he just uses them to whack something to pull it. So he's not really going for damage. Eh, it depends on where he's at because sometimes he wants that range. So You have two on you. You can bring ads. I can mess them. Uh, Thum's working. He he has a new job, so he's working uh, Monday through Thursday, I think he said, and Friday, Friday he takes Saturday off. Friday, and Sunday he'll join us. Yeah, I think he said he was going to take Friday off to rest, though, since he has to work Monday through Thursday. Yeah. And then, then Saturday and Sunday he'll come out. Oh, and one quick question. Does anybody need food? No, I am nope. good. I'm always good on food. 
So how's it uh, trying to pull this area, by the way? Is it uh, pretty difficult? Do they seem to always add or? Uh, it can be a pain in the butt sometimes, especially when you get repops like that guy right there when I'm when you're when you're pulling out here. Yeah, the charger, he's red to me. Yeah. Red to me also. Be and interesting. I'm, I'm willing to try yep. it. Yep. He's red to me as well. Is Savic I won't here? be able to slow him. He's too high for me. Yeah, he is here. Yeah, okay. I'm just making sure because he's the one with the uh the fear that will actually land. And I think we're gonna need it on this guy. There we go. Let's see if I can get something. Nope. Clean darkness did not work, but I did get aggro. Oh, I, I got aggro. Oh, God. Yeah, he's like a Mack truck, man. He's red. No. Stop it. Oh, fear landed. Nice. Oh, nope. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Nope. I thought it. Just okay. send all your pets. Just send both pets in. Let's DPS this guy right. down. There is no way I'm going to run up and try to whack that guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be scared, hard, man. Don't Just be scared. That, that heals in the manas. Yeah, we got to get fear to uh, to actually land on him, but it looks like he's resisting it. You can see the little skeletons, uh, little heads go off every so often. Oh, no. Malaise. Malaise. Oh, good. Uh oh. Yep. Stand up, Savak. You failed. I keep trying to slow just pull aggro. Oh man, if I could just get one spell to go off. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. What what I'm percent gonna... what, what percent is his health? Fifty six, fifty four. He's going down. I had to faint death I had to faint death. My mend is down. Yeah, and I can't use harm touch again this time. I don't have it back yet, so I can't uh still aggro oh he killed somebody's pet. No, that was uh that was a necro's pet. Holy crap, he's gonna die. Oh, not the necros, Pat. He can still feign if he has to. I'm trying to get... Oh, my God. There we go. I got aggro. I got aggro. Come what on, good is going to do me? This guy's going to wreck me in just a matter of seconds. Oh, man. Oh, I'm down to 24. Oh, he's going to kill me. 21. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Woo, baby. Nice. Thank you for the hills. I am at 12% mana, y'all. Get uh, Whirling. Whirling is the one taking the damage. Let me get back in there, do a little bit more. Oh my god, he's at thirty-one percent. Uh, we're not no. gonna kill this. I I'm out of mana. I'm Salos, just gonna run him around. Salos, Salos. Oh, he killed me. He killed me. Uh, he hit he hit me for sixty-two, sixty-two in a row. Uh, yeah, he's to gonna kill me as well. Run nah, it. I mean, here's Celos, man. We're just dead. There's there's nothing you can do on that All one. Right. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Not to sell oh, he's on me. Run, guys. He's on me. Oh, no. Without that fear landing, I guess it's just uh, pure right, luck on some of these guys. He's hitting arrows over and over. He's kicking my what butt. What? Zone it to split paw, guys. Zone it to split paw. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that could be a dangerous run running over there where those guys are at. Okay, hey, he's on me, guys. Just run. I'll stay here. So you guys I don't know. Make. I keep getting hit by arrows. They have a long range. How much are the arrows hitting you for? Is it a, is it a lot? Twenty damage per per hit. Uh, that's not uh, that's not less uh, than. I mean, he was hitting me for sixty two to sixteen. Well, 16 now how am, I, how am I supposed to get back? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a break for it with that without the guards on my tail with that spirit of wolf. It's gonna be it's gonna suck, but I can do it. Or you could just have me and you. Or... Yeah, I was gonna say he probably died too. So oh, and I lost group. You went Link dead. Went Link dead. I didn't go Link dead. I'm still in the game. It the says you has gone Link dead. The last has left the group. I am playing the game right now. I just loaded in. I'm over here talking to NPCs. I mean, I'm not Link dead. Look at your top left-hand corner. I'm telling you, I'm not Link dead. I'm in the game. Well, I'm, I'm just saying you might have desynced. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to wait till you guys pop up over here as well. Uh, who else died besides me? I didn't. I'm going Rolling to. fist in you. And, uh, they, I'm chasing the centaurs that are chasing them, but no one else is on my screen. All right. Wait, I'm zoning into a uh, split paw. Whirling fist just uh, shouted out snake? No, snake's not. He's in zone. He's a, he's a forsaken shaman. Oh, All right. okay. Should I run back to? Nope, zone it. Because it's still going to come after you until... Oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, not That's a good spot to die. Back for Just make sure you know where you're at so we can find your corpse well, again. we have a bard bark and, um... 
Yeah. Well, I was looking at the SK. Yeah, once he's in the zone, I can target him and then. Oh no! It's not. It's that. It's that dark elf. Or it's that high elf chick or half elf chick. Yeah, are you zoning him in? Okay. Yeah, I am. Uh, I was following you guys. I think the split off. It's just uh, I kept hitting the guy, so he would stop shooting arrows at you guys. Did, then, did uh, you die? Turned around and killed. Did you die, Chupa? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he died. He's over here. He's um. No, no he's... Chupa's alive. Chupa's oh, not alive. Chupa. I'm talking about Whirling Fist. So we have uh, Vilas, Whirling Fist, and Frog that died. I'm just waiting for you guys to repop over here. We're not gonna. Oh, did you guys not get bound over here at the gypsy camp? I did. No, I bound you guys there, but I didn't bind myself like an idiot. Oh, well, then I will run my cleric over. Let me let me get my Shadow Knight back over there, and then I'll run my cleric over, because I need to get through the guards first. What the hell are these points right, yeah, couples for? So back. Uh, crafting. Uh, can send me, uh, um, Psycho. Hold on. I think this 